Okay, so my name is Tom Crocker. I am the UK product specialist for Sony Professional Europe's uh, high-end video and news and cinema production cameras and associated equipment. Um, here at IBC 2016, one of the really exciting things we've got from our sort of run and gun high end videography range, including the FS7 and FS5, is a new lens, which is the SELP 18 to 110 um, G series lens. It's really exciting because what people have been asking us for, particularly since we launched the FS7 with its kit lens, now that kit lens was a 24 to 135, but it was a full frame lens. Now we've had great reactions to that. It's a huge amount of lens for the money, but a lot of people wanted a single lens that allowed you to go a lot wider at the back while maintaining at least F4 and while remaining par focal and the three ring interface that we had. So the new one that we've got, SELP 18110. It's 18 at the wide end, zooms into 110, but the key difference here is that it's an APS-C lens. Now that means that the crop factor, if you put that on a Super 35 sensor, like the FS7, like the FS5, is gonna be much more reduced. So it's still gonna be around the 18 mark at the wide end and around the 110 mark at the long end. Still par focal, still F4 all the way through, still three ring control, but one of the things I know a lot of people will be very glad to hear is that we now have a fully manual zoom ring, which means that you can do those crash zooms, you don't have to wait for the motor to spin up and bring the lens to where you want it to be. The other thing that we've put on, um, which is another very heavily requested feature, is um, gearing around the focus wheel so that we can then use a follow focus with it. So that's one of the really exciting things that we've got our new E-mount lens. We've also got a new camera here, which is the NX5R. Um, that's a great little camera for sort of high-end corporate and event production. The R at the end of that stands for remote. That's because we can connect that to a new small mixing desk we've got called the 5500. And that then means that we can do fully remote live production at a very low cost. And it's a very compelling package that we've got there. At the higher end of things, We've got the AXS R7 recorder. Now the R7 recorder is a fantastic addition to the F5 and F55 cameras. So we've had the R5 recorder for a while, um, but the R7, when attached to an F55, firstly, you've got two slots to record into, which means that you can then continue to record RAW or XOCN for as long as you like. XOCN is a new format. Um, which allows us to do the same 16-bit linear raw, but at a much lower file size. That then also means we've been able to improve a couple of different functions. So we now have a 30-second picture cache in there, which means that if you're out doing wildlife or nature type stuff, you see something exciting happen, you don't have any delay on the record, and you can even go 30 seconds back in time if that's activated. So that's a huge boost to that. In addition to the record now triggering record, immediately on the R7 recorder, whereas it would sometimes take a second or so to kick in on the R5. The really big picture item that's included in that though is when attached to an F55, you can now get 4K at up to 120p, which is very, very exciting. Um, we've also got a new action cam. The new action cam is great, it's 4K of course, but what we've included in that is a new physical stabilization method which actually moves the sensor as you move the camera. Now that means that we're able to get really, really stable pictures. That's particularly important in the type of application where people are using that style of camera. If you're attaching it to the handlebars of a bike or the outside of a car or you're walking with it, it means that judder and impact that you're getting is very largely reduced without the requirement to crop into the sensor as a traditional image stabilization system would work. So that's another very exciting feature that we've got. And as with the previous action cams, it comes with a little watch device which allows you to control up to five of them at once. The really nice thing that we have with those is that there are professional codecs in there there, and there's time code in there. So if you're including action cam style footage in a larger production where you're using other professional cameras, you're able to treat all the footage in the same way. As for availability, the lens will be coming out around November time along with the action cam, which will also be around November time. The NX5R will be available from the middle of this month, September, so that's very, very soon. And the AXS R7 recorder will be out in the next few weeks too. If you want more information, head to pro.sony.eu or contact your nearest dealer and they'll give you everything you need.